Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Skies. We're currently halfway through the Clay Conductor's quest. I feel like we're waiting for him to do something. So we need to find something to do in the meantime. I'm thinking we could do the Mesmeric Order quest. Where we have to go to Hybris and drop off a man to set a place. An embassy, not a place, an embassy. So let, yes, the philosophy of culmination. You've agreed to help the Arbiter of Years establish an embassy in the Reach. So let's go do that. It's a pretty simple task. My brain's feeling a bit fuzzy today, so let's uh, try and keep it nice and simple, shall we? Hopefully we can leave without any repercussions and my crew isn't all dead like they were last time. Now I have noticed in some of my previous recordings my microphone settings were wrong. I'd accidentally spun a dial on the back, so I'm going to apologise for that, but I've fixed it now, and it should be okay. Ooh. Your sleep is fevered, restless. The fragments of lore you have sc scavenged from the broken library of the heavens plague your thoughts. Ideas chase through your mind, winding a burning path. You wake. A sigil sears your vision. Record it quickly. Note each twist, each angle, before the image fades like a dream. Oh, that's one of the uh, things we need, Clerk of Sevens. Awesome. A description of this sigil was concealed in the frontispiece of the first volume of the Ministry's prohibited Gullabar Redaction. The Ministry sought to hide it even from their own. You consult the Clerk's notes. An entry suggests witnessing the music of the devils at the Howling Well. You have also heard reports of a sigil glimpsed deep in the mists of Warbly. Both locations could be worth visiting. Okay, hang on, let me write those down. It's given us a little bit of a a little bit of a clue as to where to go. So it says Warbly, well, I, I go there enough, don't I? E B U R Y and the Howling Whale. Now the music of the Howling Whale. The only one I can think of is the Devil's. Whoop. The Devil's Well, or whatever it's called. It's called the Devil's Well, the Well of the Wolf, or something like that. Wow. For some reason, my brain is not remembering any basic information today. Is it Albion? The Well of the Wolf. Yeah, the Well of the Wolf. But is there actually a place called the Howling Well? Because that, that would be funny. And I'm, I have a funny feeling there is actually a place called the Howling Well. Is it in the Reach? I think it's in Eleutheria. Yeah, there's the Well of Wonders. Ugh. I'm going to assume that's the Well of the Wolf, but I, I'm probably wrong. But luckily for me, they're right next to each other anyway. But let's carry on with our original destination for now. Let's see if we can make our way to the Reach to Hybris. Establish this embassy. And to be honest, I'm kind of hoping we don't come across any Logos or anything. It'd be nice to get out of the Blue Kingdom for a little bit. Because uh, this place terrifies me. There's no denying it. Everything here wants to kill you. Oh no. Oh wait, they like me. I kind of hope I didn't but piss that guy off by uh... No, I didn't. Okay, so I plundered the vault and I've summoned a Spirifer. Run is the uh, general rule of thumb with this one. If this thing catches me, it's going to rip me apart and that's not a good thing. Is it fighting the logos? Hang on. Can I get opportunistic here? Because my money's on the Logos. I know that thing has quite large armaments, but uh, the Logos is... Well, it has a shotgun attached to its face. Let's try not to get caught in friendly fire. Yeah, see, watch this. 
Oh god, he changed his mind. Oh, that was close. Attack the other one. Uh oh. Why do I get a funny feeling that... Uh, bump? Why do I get a funny feeling that the uh, Spirit is going to lose this fight? I mean, the Logo is going to lose this fight. Well, part of me kind of wants to help the poor thing. Woo. I also don't want to get hit. You see, this is the issue. Man, those logos are the worst shots ever. How come when they're fighting me, they're pinpoint accurate? You know what? Let's just run the hell away, because he's just seen us. No... Got me in the blast. No, you know what? Let's go. Peg it. Peg it. It's not worth it. It's not worth potentially getting smashed to pieces by one of these things. I should be able to just go straight through the gate, I guess? At least, like, transversing between the Blue Kingdom and the Reach is not expensive and or irritating. There is that. In fact, it's, an, it's an otherworldly artifact to get here and then it's free to leave, which is just wow. Compared to all the other places, there's random bits and pieces. Well, we survived the journey, thank God. It would have been quite a funny end if I got smashed between a Logos and a... Uh, Spirifer. <laughs> but here we are at the gate. Let's see if we have to talk to this crazy man. Uh, just discharge the spirits of the dead from your service. You know what awaits them beyond the kingdom. You want no part in it. Yes, let's do that. I don't want to turn them to dust intentionally. They do not argue, they rarely do. Perhaps they have enjoyed their time aboard. Perhaps they are glad to be dismissed. Perhaps they have seen what they wanted to see. They climb down from your engine and head deeper into the relay's chambers. Uh. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, let's ask to travel to the Reach. No sooner have you spoken the question, the relay's mechanism grinds into motion. You hurry back to your locomotive as the relay engage. Steel arms swing loudly into position. Oh, the yeah, terror has fallen. Its lamentable bellows shake the heavens. Is this like the only uh, relay that works properly? And we're here in the reach. So before we go to Hybris, as much as I'd love to just be an idiot and drive straight there, let's go into New Winchester and make sure we lower our terror a little bit first. Otherwise, because Hybris is quite a scary place. There's quite a lot of nasty things between me and Hybris right now. And I'd rather not get into a fistfight with them with a uh, high terror. Uh, yes, we have enough rations. Distract the crew. Luckily, we can go back to buying supplies. I'm, I'm going to leave the supplies in the... Uh, well, just in the bank. Just in case I ever go to the Blue Kingdom, which I will, again, I'm sure. It's going to take me back there at some point. Very quick, very soon, I imagine. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do need money. We're kind of running out of money. I may have to do a little bit of a fundraiser at some point. If we can do some, uh... I've forgotten what they're called. What's wrong with my brain today? Trades. I, I know what they are. You know what they are. 
<laughs> I'm trying. I'm desperately trying to remember the word. It's a really obvious word that's in my brain. Oh, New Winchester reels from recent events. The more free-spirited citizens are keeping a low profile while Company House, head office of the Winwood Company, bristles with London flags. The Colonial Assembly, the closest thing the Tacities have to leadership, has fled the port. Jolly good. You piece together gossip from tea rooms and pubs. The Tacities are struggling. The Winwood Company, whose dreadnoughts on loan from London, prowl the reach. Have them outgunned. At Victory Hall, the injured veteran regretfully argued that New Winchester was no longer a safe location for the independent nascent government. The assembly voted in her favour, and its members evacuated the port in a chaos, a chaotic exodus. If you have business with them, you'll need to travel to their new headquarters, Lustrum. This change in the balance of power will affect encounters, discoveries, bargains and prospects in the Reach. For example, the Tacketes retreat means fewer independent miners to compete with. And so more hour laden skyrocks for you to claim. Ooh, what's this? A war hero returned. A famous Tackety General has been sighted. A famous Tackety General has been sighted. New Winchester is feverish with speculation. Particularly as the General died in the liberation of the port. Why do I feel like I've done this before? Everyone has a story about the dead General. Intriguing sobriers like the Butcher, the Stuart Stalwart. The Vanquisher, the bloody handed circulate. The prudent secretary is eager for any information that can be found on the returned war criminal. The indirect veteran is desperate for confirmation the hero has returned. Oh, yeah, let's find out. The war hero returned. Let's investigate. He's in Magdalens. Some determined sulking nets you a little more concrete information. Their general has been sighted at Magdalens, where people have apparently been able to secure an audience in the Solace Chambers. The details vary. One excitable young gentleman swears blindly the general was grey of face, bleeding from his mortal wounds. But the salient fact is constant. It is an attendant. Is it an attendant imposing the impersonating the general, or is it a general impersonating an attendant? Right, we don't need to repair our ship. We... Bronzewood for Port Avon. They want five Bronzewood. Literature for Traders Wood. It's a shame that's in the other direction, because I'm pretty sure I have lots of literature. I do. For now, I guess. We won't bother. Oh, wait. I should probably get supplies, shouldn't I? Uh, we need fuel... Right. So, we can, we can go to Magdalene's, I suppose. But now let's go to Hybris. That's the plan. And it's easier to go in this direction. And hope we don't come across anything nasty. See, I've never actually finished the Hybris quests, which is something that's a little strange. It's one of the few quests in the game that I can just never get to work properly. And every time I go there, it's just empty. And there's supposed to be some sort of, like, extended quest. But because my character, I kind of had to have the game patched to make it work properly. I think it broke it. And I've just never got around to going around it. But then again, I've died since then, so... I don't actually know. Maybe I've just never actually uh, tried to get it fixed. Let's go past the carnival. They sell Bronzewood at the carnival. Sometimes it's a bargain at the at the at the circus, not carnival. Sorry, oh, written down there. Export bronzewood. I know they sell bronzewood. It's very expensive. It's very expensive indeed. Let's not mess with the monitor. Got a bad history with monitors shooting me uh, even when I'm friends with them. 
Let's just pop in here and see if they've got any uh, bargains available. Da, 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 da. New arrivals at the jungle. At the jungle. At the circus. A fire burns by the obelisk where newcomers mingle. Here yeah, we've done this a few times. Let's uh, listen to their stories. Terror has fallen. Nah, they're doing cloister nectar going cheap. That's not quite so useful. Worth looking. Alright, if we're going into Hybros, we're going to need to go up here, but it's going to be very nasty. It always is. There tends to be very big, horrible masses of flesh blocking those little valleys. There's also the guests. I don't like the guests very much. In fact, out of all of the enemies in this game, I think I would probably say the guests are my least favourite. The tentacles, I think. The ones that come out the front of the ship. Yeah. That, and they hit like trucks. They're really quite powerful. Oh, here we go. There might be some Tackities up here, or more Marauders. But somehow I doubt it. I feel it's going to be mostly the guests. There isn't much room to maneuver either, so... And again, it feels wider than I remember. I might be thinking of a different part. Hello? Is anybody here? You feel free to stay out of my way. I'm not going to complain. Ah, see, now this is kind of what I remember. <laughs> Where there's basically no room... You didn't see that. There's basically no room <laughs> for me to maneuver in here. Gonna need to repaint the flipping right hand side of my ship. Whoops! <laughs> the nameless spirit must be paid. Oh! I forgot about you. Uh, I'll refuse. The nameless spirit growls from deep within the jar. You do nothing. At the next port, the nameless spirit leaves your vessel and does not return. Here we go. There is a hammering upon your door in the dead of night. The knocker is insistent. It will not go away. It will not let you sleep. It's the clay conductor. I wanted to tell you that I am not leaving. I assume that you thought that I would be, given my reasons for traveling have failed. He draws a deep breath and his eyes finally meet yours. I mean, Captain, I'd like to stay as your first officer if you'll have me. Yeah, of course. For the first time, you see the conductor's face open in a broad smile. Of course, Captain. I shall resume my duties immediately. He goes to turn away, but stops at the last. And if you ever wish to sing with me, you have a very fine voice. Over the next weeks, morale improves. As first officer, the clay conductor's mood is infectious. It spreads throughout the crew. They are happier and more productive. Occasionally, when you pass the clay conductor, you find yourself humming a snatch of a song of the clay choirs. Sometimes, when working alongside each other, you find yourselves humming in harmony. The Caring Conductor Oh, well, that's nice. That's actually a really nice ending to that. So he, he kind of did succeed in the end. Kind of. What's he actually do for me? Ten hearts, holy crud. To affiliation at Academ. Okay. Oh, hello. A not a verdant fungus. In sky suits and spore masks, your crew hauls a porous asteroid aboard. The top half is veiled by a mesh of fungus. Likely minty crinoline. Lichen of all shades cling to the underside of the rock in an iridescent coating. Let's dead the fungus. 
Oh, vision of the heavens. It does not respond to movement, heat, or light. It does, however, seem inclined towards sound, emitting a puff of spores in the direction of two chattering crewmen. You perform further experiments, it ignores the noise of the engines, and is unresponsive to music, but it does respond to singing. Apparently, the fungus likes voices. Oof, can you imagine that? Terrifying. Faith's full. Okay, let's not go too close to this thing. No, 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 yeah, let's not crash into the wall. Yeah, down here. We're good. Luckily, no guests. What are the odds of that happening? I really hope that because Hybris is like in the weird state of kind of not working properly that I can actually finish this quest. Oh, bronze wood. We need, we need as much as that as humanly possible. We still have the overarching task of building the relay between the two places. Eleutheria and Albion, I mean. Here we are. Hybris. That was relatively painless, all things considered. The fledgling colony trying to dig its fingernails deep enough into the spongy fungal fabric of the reach to cling on when hard times come. It is a sad truth that many more settlements are founded than flourish. Let's establish a Blue Kingdom embassy. If the village sprawls, silent and abandoned and overrun with rapturous fungi. The interior of every house is choked by spores and rot. Here we are then, the mesmeric orator masterfully avoids showing even a trace of disappointment. Very good, very good. From the humblest of seeds, a mighty oak may grow, after all. Occupy an abandoned building, your crew can help clean it up. The orator takes upon himself to deliver a speech. Your crew, suitably inspired, band together and tackle the village head on. Clearing away clutter, sweeping up spores, even hacking away most of the fungi. By the end of the day, Hybris is habitable once again. This seems the most suitable accommodation for the embassy, declares the orator, standing outside the modest town hall. For now, we shall set up our operations here and we can only hope that in the future we grow. I was going, do you have any money for me? Hybris is silent, spore swept ruin. The Blue Kingdom's embassy has taken over the town hall, but it stands almost completely empty. It is occupied only by the mesmeric orator who stands on the balcony and practices speeches to an audience of mushrooms. When the orator has finished his speeches for the day, he meets you in his office. The golden urn sits on the desk, somehow managing to project an air of pomposity, while its carrier silently gets on with some paperwork. So what is the goal of this embassy? The orator clears his throat dramatically. He loves the chance to pontificate. An embassy helps different cultures understand each other. Am I correct? The orator pauses for precisely optimum effect. As the Reach comes to understand us, they will adopt our inherently superior philosophies. Soon, the Reach will swear fealty to the Blue Kingdom, perhaps Albion too, and we will have opened strategically valuable new fronts against the Eleutherian menace. Thus, it is imperative that we educate the denizens of the Reach in the philosophy of culmination and hasten this process as much as we can. We propose an ending to beings. It is more complex than that, of course. I explain more in my daily seminar. Okay, well, let's receive an assignment from the orator. There's plenty of work to be done, as usual. He says in his voice of butter and honey. Our work principally concerns the spreading of the philosophy of the Blue Kingdom, says the orator. 
with the air of a man whom monologues come naturally. This is the purpose of the embassy. We are not here to concern ourselves with diplomacy and moral squabbles. So please understand that while this assignment may be diplomatically disastrous, it is key to our philosophy. Travel to London and publicly denounce the Empress who thinks herself eternal. Specifically, discredit her have efforts to prolong the false life of her consort. Ooh, wow, that seems really bad. Yeah, sure, why not? You'll do your part to help spread the philosophy of culmination throughout Albion and the Reach. What could possibly go wrong? What well, the orator's voice is sunshine breaking through the clouds. Wonderful! I have every confidence in you, my lady. I, I feel going to Albion is a bad move here, but okay. Albion and the Empress. Write that little note there. Seems like a bloody awful idea, doesn't it? Let's just have a quick look to see if we can actually do anything here. Hybris deserted. The colonists of darkness son of soul about. Where is everyone? The paternity factor is alarmed. This is very disagreeable. I was expecting to find some people here disappearing like this. this is extremely rude. You split up and make a quick circuit of the village. You discover tables laid out for dinner. Cold tea still in fair nuance pot. The notes, in large print, half written for the mayor's council meeting, laid out on his desk. Abandoned bowls bob forlornly in the shadows of the marsh. You find the pernickety factor near the station. She holds up a muddy tarot card. Ten of cats. How peculiar. Let's keep looking. Okay. The colonists' houses are dark. There's no sign of a soul about. The smithy is empty, no smoke comes from the Brendan's chimneys. The fret work on the town hall remains unfinished. A bee laced with curling fronds flies by, its drone the only sound in Hybris. You can tell this was kind of written before the embassy thing, can't you? Uh, there are surely clues as to where the colonists have gone. The marshes are wild, the spores unswept. Laundry sits in piles in, wash, in the wash house, several shirts abandoned in the mangle. The town hall has been set up for a show. A broken mirror sits on the stage. You find an abandoned set of tarot cards before a gold-framed mirror. A playbill for a marzipan and hallow, the wondrous wizards of glass, has been discarded amidst the slough of pillows. The pernickety factor makes a face. I hate to suggest it, but Polymer and Plenties might be able to shed some light here. They have a magician. Ooh, this is... I don't remember ever doing this. If I go Hybris, go to Circus. There you go. Good enough uh, notes right there. Amazing, I'm more than happy to follow this little train of things. So, but I'm afraid I am going to have to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. We've achieved a little bit here. We've managed to finish the Clay Conductor's quest. We've managed to set up the embassy in Hybris. And now we have a new lead on where the people in Hybris have actually gone. I would love to find out. It's been years. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always... I'll see you next time.